how can we come to know that what is the return rate of the product while doing product research now the best option is just to calculate how many negative reviews they have got in so now for this i generally have be like considered it this way there will be returns for good kind of products also but for this one i'm sure the return is very uh, not that high less than 2 3% because i have talked with a lot of sellers who are doing like 1.52 crores a month in revenue on amazon okay. and this one this one if you can see guys if, if you can just unmute yourself if you are not asking the questions okay so uh, this one you can see 4.7 so 4.7 means it is really good product the quality is really good okay you can see there is no such uh, parts that can be damaged or anything so this is good you can tell if it is 4.7 or more than 4.2 that means the return will be not that high okay but if it is lower than four stars like this one is four stars but it is the rating is 4.2 and again if the rating is 3.8 also then also it shows four stars but in that case you have to check if it is 3.8 when you click on it if it shows 3.8 okay if it shows 3.8 then you have to go and check the reviews what is wrong here when you're checking the reviews when you're checking the one star two star three star reviews if you check there is some issues that you can solve then only launch that product which has 3.8 star rating if there is no option you can modify that product and solve that issue then then you launch the product the same issue will be on your product as well and you will get the same returns so that is the thing you have to make sure you do not get that much returns because after all when you calculate your margins you will see your return and refund cost is huge okay so that also impacts your cash flow because what happens is suppose you have delivered on order that amount suppose is 1000 rupees okay your product cost like 1500 amazon deducted his fees and 1000 rupees is showing in your amazon balance and that 1000 rupees will be able to disburse with it with after the return period is finished but if suppose that is a refund then the 1000 positive cash will be uh, subtracted and from your uh, uh, like the recent cash flow that is going to be disbursed on your account so that impacts the cash flow a lot because suppose there is a 10000 rupees that is going to disburse this week and you have got a lot of refunds that is simply subtract from that that are the things that you have to sh- make sure and that impacts a lot in amazon business so return and refund has lot of uh, impacts apart from just customer returning the product or just the return fees like the amazon's referral fees you are getting it back or not or the fpa fees apart from that there is a lot of things because cash flow is more important than that profit margin that you are getting if you if you know there is a normal profit and if you are getting lot of refunds that impacts the cash flow 